and we're back. What's up, everybody? Benja, well done. Coming at you live on this beautiful corona-free day. Today is Friday, Friday, April the 29th at 426 in the afternoon. How are you doing? So here's the thing. Um, don't you love it, or is it just me? When... You know how you got those people that park absolutely anywhere they want? That shit drives me pretty crazy. I'm being honest with you. You know, I have certain things. I'm such a stickler for the rules. You know, I hate it when somebody parks uh, directly in front of a store. When you got a whole parking lot that you could do it. I hate it when people put, uh, they don't put their shopping cart back where they got it from. They just leave it beside like the car. Oh my gosh. Even more, if somebody actually leaves their shopping cart behind the car that's next to them, like, these people do not make great decisions in life. And the crazy thing is, every single one of them gets a vote for who's going to be the president. You know what I mean? Don't want to go off on a tangent, but I kind of feel like there should be some sort of a test, okay, to see if you're a jerk. And if you are, I don't think you should get a vote, all right? There's, there's opinionated decisions and then just bad decision making, all right? You know what? I don't like sauerkraut and yogurt, but I'm not going to make it illegal, okay? You want to drink alcohol, smoke cigarettes, weed, you do whatever you want, okay? But if you park in front of a laundromat, not in the parking space, in front of the damn store, so people have to drive around you, you made a two-lane road one with your one stupid, dumb decision, I want to take your vote away. I don't think you're important. I don't think you're going to make a good contributing anything to society. You're already causing potential traffic violations, car crashes. You know, I feel like every time I get on the road, I always see that one jerk. That one, whenever you see a car on the road that's beat up from front to back and all sides, that's not a person who's really unlucky. That car is a reflection of one of two things. Either a guy who makes horrible decisions and they're reflected through how he drives, or two, that's how somebody bought it. I'm not sure which is going to be either or, but uh, yeah, when you see a car that's beat to shit, and they start speeding in front of you and driving like a jerk, just let him pass. You know what I mean? Think of it like this. If you already had a giant smash on the left panel of your car, would you really care if you bumped somebody again? No. Not really. Not at all. You know? It's like those geniuses that... Uh, try to see how far they can go before they actually put uh, gas in their car again, and you happen to always see them when you have somewhere important to go. There might have been two of these amazing decision makers. You're driving, you just see a car on the side of the road, no car crash, nothing. You just didn't put enough gas in your car. They had to drive 30 miles, and it said five miles on the little gauge or something like that. Man, you know, I don't claim to be an expert at anything, but I hate so many people, <laughs> you know what I mean? Like, I legitimately have a whole list of types of people that I just, just like, hate's a strong word, but man, I mean it. And maybe it's not all of that person, but I don't see how I could ever, tell you what, if I was, if I had a friend, and for some reason we went to the grocery store, and they took the cart from the little thing that you take it from, we did a little grocery shop and picked up some burgers. Maybe we're having a barbecue. They load everything in their trunk and they just leave the cart. I'm walking home, okay? You just told me that I'm no longer your friend. <laughs> like, I will sever ties from you and I will not, I will block you and delete you. Some people are even like, hey, that sounds like a great thing. If you don't like me, great. It works for me too, okay? I just... I just don't have a tolerance for it. I'm very black and white, left and right, right and wrong. Like I don't, I don't have a, uh, I don't have a gray zone. You know what I mean? If I see you parking in a place where it says veterans parking only, and you're not a veteran, if I stop to call out every single person doing something wrong, driving through stop signs, uh, slowing through, I mean, I wouldn't get anything done. But I'm telling you, internally, I just like constant combustions, like constantly on red. I mean, like, I get, I get so angry and I fume at all these things 
that some people are like, hey bro, bro, hey, psst, just breathe, relax, it's not important. But I see that stupid idiot parking their car at the gas pump and they walk inside just to buy some cigarettes. I want to choke them out. You know what I'm saying? Like, it sounds harsh, but it's true. You know? I wish people were like cartoons. You could inflict bodily harm to them and they would be perfectly fine. You could like, this sounds bad, so don't take it out of context. You know how you can see a cartoon, how someone would get like, uh, exploded and pushed off a building and they just bounce and you see smoke and it clears and they just shake their head and they're fine. Yeah, I feel like if people could bounce, <laughs> I feel like if people could bounce, I'd be doing a lot more bodily harm to people. But bouncing in people from high dis from high uh, uh, measurements, it doesn't work out well. You know what I mean? So... I just had to get that out. You know, I just I just stopped by a, a pizza place, picked up some food, and you had this one gifted, amazing person who decided to park directly in front of the store. And there was another person who saw what he did, and he was like, oh, that was a really great idea. But he was coming the opposite direction. So now you have two cars where you're trying to drive around. Nobody can back out their car. Cars are honking at them. And there are, like, a few a few um, stores down, you know, uh, at a bank, maybe cashing some checks and making other great decisions. Like, why would you park your car in front of a store when there's plenty of places you could park in the parking lot? It's called parking space, parking lot, and you're just so cool, you can park anywhere. It just, for the amount of things that I should not care about that I do, it's above and beyond. So. I love you all very much. I hope you enjoy this. And uh, with that being mentioned, I think I'm done. I got a comedy show tonight. I'm really excited about it. Oh, that's, that's something else. I had a comedy show last night, and I feel like I should not get paid. Yes, that's correct. I feel like I should not get paid. Um, you know, very rarely, going off on a different angle for a second, I feel like I did so bad. I, I want to essentially just say, hey, listen, this one's on me. Because I didn't make people laugh. Imagine you go on a dentist and he doesn't work on your teeth. You know what I mean? Um, it was a random uh, comedy show. I was told that day of it. And I brought everything that I had that I thought would work and just nothing was sticking. It was crazy. Um... And I started feeling like, you know, I did really, really bad, which I still believe that. But honestly, it wasn't. It was truthfully the crowd. Um, and it was actually a really valuable lesson. Because, I, you know, whenever I heard someone say bad crowd, I'm very, very mathematical. And when I hear someone says that to me, I just think, you know what, you probably didn't do good. And that's how I kind of feel in some aspects. But, considering that what I said was already vetted material, I started to understand that principle a lot more. But I had more confirmation as far as that it was not me and it was the crowd, because the guy that went after me, um, he also bombed, he did horrible, and he's a talented comic. Um, I didn't stay till the very end because um, I, I was just trying to like get home, and I drive like I drive further to get to, uh, to Dallas and do comedy shows and stuff, but... Uh, um, it was a great, I, I really appreciated it. I, it was a great learning experience. And I try, I did try some new stuff, but I almost, to me, it was like I was in a situation to where I had never been in a situation to where like my material doesn't hit and it wasn't working. Um, so I was telling myself, maybe I should just do something else or maybe I should just keep on going in this material that's obviously not working. So I, I made a judgment decision. I just went a complete different direction. I just abandoned my material. But um, in hindsight, I wish I didn't. I wish I just continued and finished my material and, and did the rest of my stuff. Um, because that's the way that I memorize it in. That's the way I rehearse it in. That's the way that I work it. So in hindsight, that's what I should have done. But uh, in other aspects, I don't want to be married to a a bit of material, if I have other stuff in place of it, which I definitely do, that I could have supplemented it for, but, yeah, you know, I heard this one guy say, uh, 
I'm paraphrasing, that his act was his act, which pretty much means this is what I came here was prepared for. It's kind of like the, the famous phrase how people say, uh, uh, work the plan. So basically, if this is your plan, work it. And I feel like on a professional level, that's what I should have done I didn't do. So it was a good learning lesson in that aspect. But man, I'm, I'm just excited to get back out there. I got another show tonight. I'll be doing 15 minutes, and I'm excited. And I'm just going to stick to the material. Funny thing is, is that right after that show last night, um, as I was exiting, there was a, a couple people at the bar, and I did that exact material with them for like the first five minutes of it, and they were laughing, like nonstop. And I'm like, okay. I literally just said the exact thing inside, and they were telling me like, that was really funny. I don't I don't really get how, how uh, nobody laughed at that. But again, confirmation bias before, it was vetted material. It worked after, just not during. And it wasn't just for me. It was for everybody. Well, everybody up until I left, I saw it wasn't. Uh, this one girl did really well. Uh, but for the most part, it was, I think, I think it was my first instance of actually being able to say, yeah, it was the crowd. So I feel like that's an easy cop out to say to not take ownership or responsibility for you doing good. The truth is, is that until people start to come to see you specifically, they know your style, sense of humor, etc. You could be a world famous musician and nobody likes your music in a certain group, in a certain group. But you only have to get that group. And we'll, for whatever reason, the group that I was speaking to had nothing for me. And that is what it is, you know. I don't like cottage cheese or yogurt. I'm not trying to make it illegal. You know, it's not my thing. It's for other people. And I guess I'm for other people and I wasn't for them last night. Or the guy after me. Um, yeah, it was just crazy. So, anyway. With that being mentioned, everybody have a beautiful day. I'm Binge. Well done. Check me out. That was, that was fun. I'm just messing. All right, I'm done. Have a good one. I'm out. Peace.